Hello, this is Chiak. We are back with Alpha Polaris. We, we're ready to go trank a polar bear. Hey, Rune! Over here! Where is it? Back there, behind the station. I think it tried to stalk me, so I took off. Then it's probably a male, so let's be very careful. Wait, the polar bear is around here? A makeshift ashtray. Okay, so in this book, this notebook had... Don't approach until head down. See, I don't know if I need to... I really hope not. <laughs> Two station yard. He's a big one, all right. Somewhat over 200 kilos, I'd say. And guess what? He is a she. Does that matter? More than one would think. Tracking collars can't be fitted to males. Their necks are wider than their heads. She must be over two and a half meters long. That's impressive for a female. All right. Breach alerter I have on loan from Bergen University. There's a dart in the chamber. Okay. <sighs> but let's have a look at it. Okay, don't approach until head down. Um, secure breathing, check heart rate, remove dart, clear off after reversal. Okay, so we'll uh, trank it. Put the collar on, check the heart rate. Maybe he'll do this all on his own, hopefully. Hopefully you will do this all on your own. Good kill. It hit her right where it was supposed to, just above the shoulder blade. Let's give the sedative some time to kick in and then have a closer look. Look at that maw. It can easily crush a seal skull or drag a small beluga whale out of the sea. Mighty nasty smell. It shouldn't be that bad. Okay. It's an oximeter. Okay, the pulse. That's a satellite tracker? Yes, but it transmits only triangulation data. The collar will come off after a few weeks. After that, I'll retrieve it. I really hate the fact that the, dot, the, the text is just exiting the, 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 the space where you're supposed to actually view it. What? How do we take the pulse? Oh, on mucus? That would be terrifying. <laughs> 41. Pulse is a little over 40. That's normal for a sleeping animal. Okay, can we... Not much fat underneath the fur, she's malnourished. Both paw pads look clean. He's clearly nervous about this. Back to station, back to station. 
So there's the reason for the smell. The right quadrant mandibular canine is chipped. The what? A fang. The tooth is infected and the infection is spreading. Look at the dark spots on the gums. Okay. Do we, I mean... Oh, okay, so I got everything. Careful! Relax. I know what I'm doing. We're done here. She can't eat with that tooth. That's why she's so badly malnourished. We need to contact the veterinary service tomorrow. Are you gonna keep her on a leash until then? Let's haul her to that old sled dog cage to wait for them. You stay here and guard her. I'll figure out a way to do it. What if she starts moving before that? I'd keep my distance. She'll be rather pissed off when she wakes up. Okay. I have to haul her... Like, she weighs over... You said she weighs over two kilos? Or she was two kilos? It has housed tens of huskies during the time before motorized transportation. I really hope I'm not gonna get a... a <laughs> At least let's open it. Awesome. Fuel for generate generate vehicles, solar panels. Largely decorative despite the size. Those are none attacks, rugged peaks pushed through glacial ice. I mean, oh. there's no way to move the bear without machinery. I don't think I need to touch that. Okay, let's double click. Without the remote, it can only be opened from the inside. Okay. So, I'd imagine in the garage, the, the, there will be something. No, there's nothing. Okay. Uh... Snow plow. Snow plow, then where's the here you go. You don't have the keys. Tully has the keys. Have you figured out how to move her? That thing will get up any minute. Oh, weird. Let's take the snowmobile and pull her. That might work. It's not possible to drive the snowmobile inside the cage. I have to think of something else. Bigger toys. Let's look at everything here. Okay. Is there any straps in the garage? Oh, I have, 
I have rope. I'm not sure what... Hmm. We just carve pieces out of it. Ice cream box. Sponge cake. Okay, there's nothing in down there's nothing down here. So let's go to the garage and uh, see if there's anything in there. Mechanical hoist, hatch, a ladder, stored wares, wares, gasoline. Rusty barrel, table saw, grinding machine, a broom, press drill. I have to think of something else. I was trying to get to the girl, Novak. I don't want to break her workflow. Okay. Yeah, there's no, there is going to be nothing in here. What's, why metal structure? For the comm antenna. Harpoon. No, thank you. We're not harpooning the... <laughs> we're not harpooning the poor animal. Okay, well, I have rope on, on me. I completely forgot about that. So let's... See if we can suggest the rope. Okay. I won't do any good. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is this is, I came to the point where I'm already come to the point where it's trying different combinations. Really? I feel like this wouldn't really be that great to the... Eula Petroleum is gonna love her. We are not telling them. We need to do what we can to help her. I'm gonna go take a leak. Okay. So we use the... I just like, is that? I don't imagine that would be proper procedure in any way to just strap the bear in and there we go. But sure. Oof. Game was saving. Tell he has the key. She's awake. Okay, well, really nothing else I can do. Calm tower. Yeah. So let's uh, head back inside. See if anyone has any comments about the polar bear that's uh, may possibly turn into an evil creature. 
It's a horror game, guys. Anything's possible. Okay, what's happening now? Antibiotic somewhere in the lab. Okay, so that's... I really kind of wish... It's weird. Like, I feel like it would be something he should say. Should I have... Do I need to track the thing? <laughs> do I need to track the bear again? I feel like... The game wouldn't have let me use the... The... Wait, what, what's it called? No, something agent. Antibio- oh, here you go. Medical locker. Liquid penicillin. But that means we need to keep her in a very small cage for at least 14 days. Make some room. Sample's coming through. Rune. Ow. Oh. Pretty brisk weather out there. Leave no skin exposed. What do you got there, Gramps? Early Christmas. A few hours ago, I was roaming the glacier using the crevasse radar. No magnetometrics or anything. Suddenly, the thing starts bleeping, and I hit the brakes. Went outside and found myself on the edge of the nastiest crevasse ever. Holy shit! And that's not even the hairiest part. Glance down, and there it was. Deep in the hole, a bubbling pool of crude oil. Again, no transient electromagnetics, tellerics, or anything. Just stumbled on it. So I figured there's more to this story. Tied myself to the six-wheeler's winch, and went down. You fucking went down the crevasse? Alone? And with that trunk of yours? Yes, Tully. I bloody went all the way. Let's say I had a hunch of an old oil wizard, did some surface sampling, looked around, and found these. Unsettling, isn't it? It was a sacrificial site of some kind. That thigh bone, it's human. Yes, there were plenty of body parts down there but I didn't want to stick my nose any deeper than I already had. What do you think, Rune? This is a significant find. The symbols look like some sort of elaborate writing, but it's not really my field. I have a few paleoanthropologist contacts in Bergen. We could reach them through the Thule station. Maybe, but let's not be hasty here. The find could mean big bucks for all of us, so let's not draw any unnecessary attention to it. Tully? Right on, Gramps. Last time I checked, we were on an oil research station, not some fancy university. You are not going to believe this. Euler himself is coming here. Bob? They're sending Bob? No, much worse. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be in my room. What the hell was that? Alistair Euler, the son of the company founder, is coming here. I've known Bob a long time, and in this case, the apple has landed far off. Oh, he sure got the ice queen ticked off. They have some mutual history together. I'm going out for a smoke. You joining, Gramps? No, thank you. I'll reward myself with a couple of sandwiches. Viking? No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. And if I'm not going to be allowed to contact a real expert, I'll examine those bones myself. Knock yourself out. You do know what your oil find means for Greenland, don't you? Yes, it'll bring in money to the local people, thus giving them tools for pursuing their independence. It'll also have a severe effect on the ecology, not to mention global climate problems. What do you want me to do, Rune? I'm an old guy. For once, I found something worthwhile. Anyway, I suggest you take a look out of your window before going to sleep. 
There should be powerful aurora in the sky tonight. Okay. Okay, so now we're focusing... I need to give the first shot tonight. Okay, so the antibiotic shot has to be given tonight. Uh... Femur. Bones are so mineralized that it's hard to examine them properly. They must be a thousand years old. Some gear Nova uses to prepare fossils. Oh, we're just gonna put them in our... Okay. Decompose surface. Markings below, but I can't make anything of it. Two markings really stand out. The lower one looks human. Symbol three. Three symbols are inside a cartouche. Cartouche? As if together they will have a special meaning. A magnificent arc of symbols on the upper part looks like the sky is bleeding. Oh, that's always a one. That's a wonderful. What a wonderful image right there. Distilled water. Uses a solvent. Okay. Uh, so we just have the pones on us. Okay, there has to be a better way to do this. <laughs> okay. Antibiotics. First off, let's load up this with the anti with the antibiotics. So Oh, that's just about the bear. So, is there a particular place where I'm supposed to be working on this? Photo, map of Greenland, office Buddha, energy drinks. Can I just... Definitely human, heavily mineralized. It doesn't work on table. Really? Okay. <laughs> I need to cleanse the bones Al brought. Okay. So, I'm going to assume we are missing uh, items of some sort. It doesn't do anything. Well... Do this again. Yeah, and there's nothing here, so let's back off, see what in the world uh, am I supposed to do with these bones. <laughs> Put it into the washing machine. <laughs> um, equipment oh hello suddenly we have a huge vehicle there apparently the wheelbase is designed to designed to distribute its weight over a wide area I don't know if it works but it sure looks cool 
What do you think about the find? When are you gonna get it on with the Inuit princess, huh? Nova? Nah, not me. She's nice, but... Come on, I see you eyeing her ass. Anyway, there are some things you should know about her. She was working in Thule before this, right? The word is that they had to transfer her to keep a horde of ogling corporate losers away. Like the Eula guy she was mad about. And that she enjoyed the hassle an awful lot, too. Just take a number, pal. Okay, that's enough. I have things to do. But if you need some advice about Inuit women in general, you are now talking to the Eskimo champ. Right. My point is that she'll eat you alive. She's done it before. Table saw. Press drill, rusty barrel, broom, table saw, grinding machine. I honestly don't know. I mean, I can't imagine taking any of this. Where's... This icy roof. Ugh. Literally, I'm just like, why would I carry these bones out anywhere besides the lab? to cleanse the bones so how am I supposed to be cleansing it ah rune quite a day wasn't it okay uh I understand you have a long work history in the Arctic too long my friend too long I've seen all kinds of creatures in here all kinds of jaunty fellows Did you say the artifacts were in a cave, not in the bottom of the crevasse? A glacial cave beneath the ice, yes. It was deep beneath the surface. Not a very pleasant place. But don't start getting any weird ideas about academic investigations or anything. I found it and I'll dedicate it to pumping black gold. Okay. What are you working on? Right now, uh, my main field of expertise, a sandwich. Did you see my new mascot? I did, but how long is she going to stay in that cage? That's a different thing. I'm not gonna keep her. What's the problem with her? Infected jaw. Dooley will probably agree to send in a vet. That's a ballsy move, you know, to capture a polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so. With that, what's like... That's for coffee. Okay, we have a water tap. Is uh, am I supposed to be washing with that? Okay, good. If that was the case, I would be very disappointed. So, like the thing is, I feel like I should be able to, somewhere inside the lab use something in there to cleanse the to wash the to wash the bones but it's like I couldn't really see what I was exactly I was supposed to do unless I was supposed to put in the fume hood I think I tried though Nova I? are you alright? Rune? no not really you know if you need any assistance I've got some quality razor blades you're a real friend but I think I just need some rest was that just a suicide joke? Uh, let's leave her be. Okay. Good night. Pal's room. A shoulder to lean on. That just got an achievement there. Interesting. Yeah, but obviously she's not feeling well. I'm not gonna pester her about the date.
vacuum flask. Don't need it right now. Is that bear gonna escape? Ugh. Okay, let's go back to the lab. It has to be at the lab. Like, where else could it possibly be? I'm just not figuring out the right combination of things that I should be doing. Okay, so let's have a look at everything in here. I'll just leave the office Buddha know. That's Alice's wife. I think she's passed away. So we can't... What? No. See, that's the... How do you concentrate its use as a solvent? Pure H2O. Okay, that's to put specimens together. Yeah, I really am just like... Yeah, we can't pick up the we can't pick up the brush. That's another thing. No thing. Oh, did I have to open it this entire? Use. A hard, a bit hard to get them in there. It's already open. It's a corrosion resistant glass container. Oh, did the game just quit on me? Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> Windows decided to tell me that it's gonna restart sometime. When do I like to do that? Well, now's not the time. <laughs> now is not the time. No need anything. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Am I supposed to like use a syringe on and then, I don't know, squirt it on the bones or something like that? Can I just inject the polar bear now? At least give me, at least I can do something and then I can call this set quit. Quit the set. Now, bear's awake. She'll bite my hand off. I can't sedate her again, she might die. How in the world do I feed her? <laughs> this is a very important find. Let's just throw it away. Uh, this is killing me. I don't understand how am I supposed to clean. It's probably going to be something super, like, really simple. And I'm just not getting it. <laughs> just put it in the washing machine. Thank God. Okay, sorry. I had to. I had to check. I'm like, 
if this is it, I'm going to be very disappointed. But it wasn't, so everything's cool now. Um, yeah, I... I need to cleanse the bone. So that's the problem that I'm having right now. How do I cleanse the bone? I am looking up a walkthrough right now. It's already so early, but honestly, just trying to find, clean the bones. Wait, so we can... That's literally it. We just have to put the container on the table. Oh my god. <laughs> it's this one simple thing. I feel like this should have been something where it's, a, it's, a, it's an item that will go into our bag. Okay, uh... Water. A mild solution of acetic acid should dissolve the calc. I'll check the results in the morning. Okay, that's finally done. Thank God. So the, all that's left is antibiotics. So do we have anything? Because I can't, we can't sedate the bear. Sponge cake, maple syrup. Rang powder, metal hook, meat. Can I, let's, what time is it? Oh, I just, I want to do this. Head to the kitchen, see at least if we can get a knife. Ventilation hood. Well, let's actually, let's just check the fridge. Vegetables, milk, sandwich. <laughs> it will turn sour if I just carry it around. About 70% of the population hold, holds a mutated gene that allows them to process lactose as an adult. <laughs> the vegetables are shady. Wait, if you already have... You already have a sandwich in here, you're making another... Ah, oh, rude. Okay, I think that's it. Um, one beer per night. It's warm. <laughs> I imagine it should be. Okay. Uh, so this is not where we can grab... Okay, so now the question is, how do I uh, feed, how do I get the bear? If I can't track the bear, Sorry, I'm like looking at every single... There shouldn't be anything in here either way to actually... I'd be surprised. Hmm. 
Lavatory key, station key. Okay, let's head out to the bear again. To the polar bear and see what what see what he says. See how she copes in the cage. I try to give the solution. She's she's awake. Uh, sedatives. No, I can't sedate her again. She might die. Okay, so we and we can't use the sedatives. So the question is, how do I get her? In terms of hints, he doesn't really give all that many hints. To be honest, <laughs> it's uh, not that useful. Multi-tool with compass. Ooh, can we use the multi- can we use the multi-tool on the meat? And then put the antibiotics in the meat? I don't know if that's a thing, but... Yeah! No? Okay, do you just want me to distract her while she's... <laughs> Distraction! Quick! Oh yeah, I'm so playing. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just like, I need... I need to do this. <laughs> At least get this in this set. Distraction! She's not going to eat it with that jaw. So are you telling me I cut that up for no reason? <laughs> can we... Please tell me we can cut off another piece of meat since I wasted the first one apparently. I like how like she throws it and it's like, oh, right. Her jaw is injured. Probably can't get her to eat it. What? What? Come on! Yeah, I don't imagine we could use it on the sedative needles. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me as I go back outside and see if maybe he left it if it's just on the ground and I just can't see it. Thank you for a double click. Nope. It's gone. We fed the bear and now... Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to save the set here. I clearly cannot figure out what to do. So thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!